company folded for twelve hundred dollars, man. Twelve hundred dollars caused you niggas turmoil, man. Bill Collector quit the group on y'all. He said, man, I'm out. I can't deal with this shit. Bill Collector said, I spent too much money and my own time. Damn. I got it from here, Verb. I got it from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, man. Well, well, well. We'll just put that right there to make it fair. Um... Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. So it looks like then the Fuji's gonna break up. Then I and Katina turn to break up. And I wake up to more bullshit. Yo, today has been kind of crazy. And the reason why I do these blogs and I put this stuff out is because I know there's a lot of people who don't be on Twitter, who don't be on Spaces, who don't be you know, really, really, really entrenched in what goes on as far as like the news goes, which is the reason why myself and others break it and talk about it and give our own personal thoughts, perspectives, and et cetera, et cetera. So, um, so here's how it goes. Bill Collector, Jack Boy Main, Sue Surf, salute to all of them. Um, they had Midnight Madness going, they had a bunch of battles, they gave out belts. You know, uh, you had some battles where some names got made, not made per se, but got bigger. Truffaut did his thing. Uh, you know, you had Snake Eyes, None None was in there. You had KD versus Wise. They had a bunch of battles, right? But from the start, people like Verb and others were saying that this wasn't going to last long due to egos. Uh, just due to a bunch of things. When you mix a bunch of battle rappers together, you got too many Indians and not enough, I mean, too many Chiefs and not enough Indians, you know, it, it's going to go where it's going to go. So, Surf basically said that he put a lot of his own money into it. A lot of people are talking about they're putting a lot of their own money into it. And I heard yesterday that folks was getting a bad rap because Surf is like, yo, he's putting all the money into it by himself, but it's three equal partners. But the thing is, financially, Everybody's in different brackets. Like a lot of people don't get paid what Surf gets paid for battles. Don't have albums out that sell what Sue Surf sells, and don't have the opportunities to make the same kind of money. A lot of these niggas, their money is going from hand to mouth or from hand to bill. So Bill Collector quits Midnight Madness. Yo, he's like, "Fuck this, I'm out." And I'll read the statement that he said. He said, "As of today, I'm officially removing myself from all Midnight Madness. Anything." I'm cool on all the controversial drama and the weird stuff that keeps happening. I spend far too much of my own money to be downplayed, focusing on my own brands. Salute to those that support. So I will read through this for you. I read the statement and I'll break it down for you. He's basically saying he's removing himself from all Midnight Madness, anything. He doesn't want nothing to do with the battles, the belts, the politics, everything. So uh, Stumbles had won a belt the other day about a week or so ago versus Snake Eyes, but he immediately vacated the belt. He was like, I don't want to be involved with it because it's mad drama, it's mad politics, it's mad messy, messy shit. So he ain't want to be involved with it. He said, I'm removing myself from it, but I want my money. Surf didn't look at it that way. He's like, yo, you took my belt, you vacated it. I didn't make that bet. See, the thing is, like I said previously, this whole situation could have been avoided if the money is not in hand. Like when you do this whole, I'ma bet you, I seen this shit happen 30 times if once. You better nigga, if the money is not, I've learned my own lesson from better niggas and not having the money in my hand. And then when you win the bet, they're like, I'm good. And you know, these niggas be in different states. You go to, you go, you what I'm gonna do? Cause people be like, oh, Dot ain't paid you yet. So I'm supposed to go all the way to New York to see Dot over a hundred dollars. It'll cost me more money to get there. So it's not even worth betting people unless the money is on the floor. They came up with the term. How do you came up, how do y'all come up with the term money on the floor and then the term don't exist anymore? Like when it comes to the battles, I have no idea. That's a whole nother thing. So Bill Collector saying he was officially removing himself from All Midnight Madness. He's cool on the controversial drama and weird stuff that keeps happening. He's saying he spent too much of his own money. Now, for a fact, I know I don't know the exact number of who spent what, but I know Bill Collector was spending money because one time I had hit him up, I forgot what it was about, whether it was when he won the 100,000 just to congratulate him or just to you know, talk to him about you know his next moves and things like that. He was like, yo, we talked for a minute 
And then I let him go because he was handling things for that event that happened in Philly. He's like, yo, I'm running around, I'm getting venues, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. So he definitely had a hand in the pot in helping make Midnight Madness because these guys genuinely wanted to help kickstart and jump people's careers. And Jack Boy made the same. I know he was vested in Midnight Madness when it was first started. He was promoting like crazy. He was going on different shows. He was doing the things that he was doing to help. So the feeling, like the audio that I heard from Jack Boy yesterday, he's not feeling that people are jacking the fact that Surf did everything by himself and you know, as far whether it be financially or whether it be for Midnight Madness. So Bill Collector basically jumped off the bandwagon. It's like, I'm good on this. Now, a nigga like Verb, Petty Freddy, what he's gonna do is he's gonna continue to push the, the, the push the pill and let niggas know like, yo, I told y'all, I told, cause it's mad, Verb didn't lie, Verb don't miss. Like if you go in the search engine on Google, or just, I mean not Google, and put in Twitter, and put search, Verb don't miss or Verb didn't lie yet. I've even seen people like Briz Rothstein coming out and talking about uh, Midnight Madness, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Verb tweeted, y'all company folded for 60 $20 bills, which is 60, which is a shot at the rolling 60s of Crips. Pathetic, oh my God, today is great. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, it, and you know, Bill Collector and Jack Boyd put up, like I said, they put a lot of work in with the whole Midnight Madness thing. Uh, Briz tweeted, Verb was right, look how it all comes around. He said, hey yo, get on their eight. I'm just seeing all this and I'm like, they done effed around and let Verb call this again, Frankie Lyman on some sh Like it just gives everybody, it makes, a, it makes you a laughing stock to everybody when business is not ran the way it's supposed to be. But see, the thing is with Surf, Surf is like, you know, how did it just become the Surf show? Well, I'll tell you how it became the Surf show. You're the biggest name. The biggest name gets the blame. The biggest name gets the blame, period. Regardless of how the situation goes, you know? They're not gonna look at, uh, they're not gonna look at George Hill and uh, Channing Frye and Richard Jefferson and say they didn't get the job done in Cleveland. They're looking at one person, LeBron James. He's gonna get the blame. If Kyrie's there, he'll get the blame too. He's a star in himself, his own right. Kevin Love too. But for the most part, the headlines is gonna read the biggest name. The na the the views, the talk, and everything does not come from talking about the other people who didn't have anything to do with it. It's, it's, it's gonna be handed to you. To whom much is given, much is expected. Um, I do feel like Midnight Madness was good for battle rap. Because I, I don't know if this is a repairable situation at this point because it's like, who wants to even be involved? Like, if like if Jack, if Jack Bill is leaving and if Jack feels away, and I seen Jack very vocal yesterday about how he felt about things. And I've known Jack for a long, long, long time. Before Battle Rap. I knew Jack from the streets. Like, Jack would tell you. He'll tell you. If he tell, I've told the story before, and, you know, I don't really care to go into it now. But I know Jack from having beef with niggas that, like, it got bad. And I kind of, like, got in his ear, like... Bro, this battle rap shit, like you nice, like you really need to focus. If, if, you, if he wants to tell you, he'll tell you. But I, the first time I met Jack, he's the same person he is right now. And, uh, but he's changed a lot as far as like maturing and you know, getting better at his craft and becoming, you know, trying to butt up to be a star. Like he wanted to be on Known to battle k -Shine. I thought that would've actually been a good battle. But uh, so it's like, is it repairable? It probably is, but at this point, it's so much slander and so much bad that's came from it. And now you got the whole stumble situation where he feels like he should have got paid. He said he got paid 800, he's still owed 12. It was just, it's just nasty work all around. But as of now, from what I seen, Bill Collector's like, I'm out of this. I don't want no parts of it. Cause he said he don't, he's getting his brand downplayed. And when you downplay someone, it's like, Oh, if it wasn't for me, there would be none of this. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm the one that's putting all this money into it. Ain't nobody else. Like, that kind of is a dig at someone else. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of a shot at someone. You know what I mean? Like, I could never be like, if this is my show, like, this is, you're watching me right now. This is my show. If I decide to invest in new lighting or a new camera or a new microphone, whatever the case may be, or to promote or to do things like that, I can't look at somebody else and be like, well, they ain't giving me no, this is your show. This is you, this is you, this is what you do. You know what I'm saying? You can't go to the next person and be like, they ain't do nothing for it. That's cool, but it's your business. That's the business, the way it's supposed to be ran. I do hope cooler heads prevail, but uh, right now, Verb is gonna have the one up on 
a lot of this situation because he's going to be talking heavy and that's just the way he does especially when it's somebody that he you know he knows that if he battles a sous serve it's probably going to be his biggest payday as of yet could potentially be i know verbs made some good money um but yeah i i do when i do get the people send me the stuff you know what i'm saying i do post it for y'all to listen to for y'all listening pleasure for y'all viewing pleasure and they do thousands and thousands of views, I'm not gonna lie. Salute to Verb, salute to Serve, salute to all of you niggas. I ain't mad. Listen, if y'all, will y'all put it out on the internet and put it out there, it's for the world to hear. And I ain't doing nothing but just putting the word out there. My personal opinion doesn't even matter, you know what I'm saying? I just, and I feel like it didn't have to be where it's at right now, but it's there, you know what I'm saying? Um, Midnight Madness. Just send me the address and I can get that to you. Um, it definitely takes an L. I do feel like it was a breeding ground where people could have like got their shit off, became bigger in the culture. But when there was like 15 belts running around and this person got the belt for being the break, the, 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 the break room, the water cooler monitor, and this one got the belt for battling one time, and then they got the belt. It's like 10 belts running around. And then it really took a downward spiral once the belt got took. I'm just being honest with you. When niggas took that belt, that shit was going, we went downhill. Because it devalued it. Then you got another belt, and it was another belt. It was like, yeah, damn, who's making all these motherfucking belts? So I hope it gets well, but the uh, whole situation is an L. And I hope y'all have a good Tuesday. You know what you do say, gangster.